You have put the ballot in the hands of your black men, thus making them political superiors of white women. Never before in the history of the world have men made former slaves the political masters of their former mistresses. Anne Howard, President of the National Women Su uh, Suffrage Association. So you know the 19th Amendment uh, gives women the right to vote. That one, yeah. Uh, and how women, white women in particular, worked so hard to get women the right to vote. Mm -hmm, yeah, no, they worked so hard to get white women the right to vote. Mm -hmm. And when black men got the right to vote before them, one, their true colors showed, and three, they showed their asses. They railed against anything and anybody and anywhere. I just threw in some words there because they were incensed, right? They were, and they let everybody know it. Everybody know it. And despite the fact that black women had been supporting them, black women had been marching with them, black women had been assisting them, the northern white women decided that, nope, that's not good enough. We need the support of the women in the South. We need the support of those white women who actively participated in the disenfranchising and the dehumanizing and the enslavement of black people. Mm -hmm. So we're going to kick these black women who helped us get this far for, you know, white women who are actively participating in the KKK. And that's exactly what they did. Remember earlier in one of my previous videos, I said uh, white feminism, white feminism, kicked black women to the curb when it suited them, and in their quest to obtain the right to vote, it suited them to kick black women to the curb. <laughs> 